Your first alert weather. Starting to get severe thunderstorms in the region with the severe thunderstorm warning again in Fremont County until 615 tonight. 66 degrees, mostly cloudy skies. The Snake River Plains staying mostly clear of the severe weather for right now as we're looking at two main areas on the Viper radar for some of those severe showers already in the region. The first one down south towards Preston as we're looking for some severe weather to start crossing into I-15 towards Milan. Right now it's already starting across I-84 just south of Burley and Rupert and Oakley down there. Elsewhere, there's that severe thunderstorm warning we're looking at just north of Dubois, almost into the Continental Divide. It looks like it's pushing just to the north of Dubois as it continues on to Island Park. But uh, regardless, this is going to be a, it's a very wet drive on the camera uh, just north of Dubois over along I-15. If you're on that drive right now, definitely take precaution. We still got more severe weather threat on the way from the west from Boise, which is popping up their own severe thunderstorm warnings over there. So let's look at the Vipercast and see how late this is going to go because we got more of these cells coming into the region throughout the Snake River Plains, southeastern Idaho and central Idaho. And take a look at the time. This could be lasting into the overnight hours tonight for the next six or so hours. In fact, before things finally start to calm down, heading into the overnight hours, we'll be looking for those cells to keep happening. So stay with us here. We'll keep you posted in social media about those warnings popping up. I'll have to post about that severe thunderstorm warning in just a moment once I get off air. But right now, heading into tomorrow, we'll basically have leftover showers for western Wyoming and the Continental Divide before things clear a lot more out and get a lot more calmer for the work week ahead. High pressure system just off to our south. Obviously, it's not playing too much of a role right now. But once it gets a lot more of a foothold heading into the work week, we'll start building a ridge, which is going to bring warmer temperatures and dry conditions across the entire region heading all the way at least until when Thursday, uh, Wednesday and Thursday. In fact, we're not looking for a mixed major system of rain to really come in until next weekend. So for tomorrow, again, leftover showers. Most of them are going to appear along the Continental Divide from Salmon over to Yellowstone, including Island Park and maybe down towards Rexburg. Besides that, the most majority of the region will be sticking with those partly cloudy skies throughout the entire day and that with more sunshine will get to higher temperatures in the afternoon 66 tomorrow Montpelier 64 in Lava Hot Springs 64 in Jackson 58 in West Yellowstone tomorrow 69 in Rexburg 65 in Salmon 64 over in Ketchum 65 in Arco highs today at least for the Snake River Plains only got up to the 50s upper 50s highs tomorrow Get into the upper 60s. Air 8 day forecast in Blackfoot. Again, once we get past tonight's severe threat, uh, we're not expecting too much in the next five days. Just isolated 10% rain chances on Monday and Thursday before I'd probably say our next major rain chance comes next weekend in Blackfoot. Rexburg, high of 69 tomorrow with an isolated rain chance and windy conditions then. And then we'll warm things up to 80 by Thursday, up to 85 by Saturday. In Salmon, 65 degrees, 40% chance of a rain shower there. Lows get up to the 50s by the middle of the week, and the highs get up to around 80 for Thursday. In Jackson, 64 degrees, up to 72 for Wednesday. We'll clear things up on Wednesday with a high of 72, and then get up to 78 on Wednesday with a 30% chance of rain then. In Pocatello, 69 degrees, windy conditions dry for the next five days. It'll help the temperature to get up to 86 86 on Friday. Start working out a sweat towards the end of the week this coming work week. Lastly, Idaho Falls, 69 degrees tomorrow, up to 79 for Wednesday, then up to the mid to upper 80s by next week and before our next possible rain outlook comes. But overall, a dry work week ahead. I'll send back over to Kaylee.